Hi everyone, thanks for joining Beyond the Scenes. I'm here with my co-host Melanie Query and I'm Andreas Speck. And today we're gonna to be talking about the difference between cable and broadcast television advertising. A topic that can get a little confusing uh, with the two different sides of it. So yeah. uh, why don't we get started with a little bit of an overview, like a 50,000 foot view. Like what is the difference between broadcast and cable? Sure. So a lot of people think that uh, TV advertising is TV advertising, and that's really not accurate. Uh, broadcast TV is generating a viewership that is very large, typically. Um, you know, that might be in Pittsburgh, for example, could be a KDKA TV or a WPXI or, or TAE. And in Baltimore, it could be a WBAL or DC, WUSA, for example. We're talking about your um, network TV, CBS, ABC, NBC, even Fox in your local area. So and like local news. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Your local news would be on there. Sports would be on there. And of course, you know, various programming throughout the day. Uh, cable, which is extremely different, can be purchased from an advertising standpoint, also on a very regional level, similar to broadcast, but it allows us, cable allows us to actually drill into a zone. And a zone would be a coverage area of various or multiple zip codes. And with cable, you are buying uh, networks that are outside of those major broadcast networks. So you might want to advertise on HGTV because you're a new restaurant in town and that's where you know you might advertise. You might advertise on TLC because you are a local hardware store or a local supplier of some sort of widget and you want to target those do-it-yourselfers on TLC, for example. Um, and so cable allows us to advertise on various networks, a whole plethora of them, frankly, and they vary by, by market. Um, each DMA, designated market area, would have a different list of networks you can advertise on, but very different than broadcast advertising. It's much more niche. It allows us to target by those zones that I talked about, which cover a very specific zip code area. So how would someone go about in deciding, should I do cable or should I do broadcast? Sure. Um, we would suggest typically that it's based on budget and it's based on the audience you want to reach. You know, a news viewer is very different than an MTV viewer, for example. And so that would be broadcast versus cable. And so it really is all about that target audience you want to reach and then really dictated by your budget. Uh, broadcast advertising and cable advertising can be very cost effective and cost efficient when done properly, but you can really spend a lot of money on one or both if not done properly. So you want to be careful how how you're allocating those dollars and making sure you're really touching those exact people you want to reach. And you talked about the uh, regional targeting. Uh, what about the demographic targeting? So you had touch on that a little bit, but maybe we can touch on sports even, or like just different types of people that are watching the different areas. Yeah, so, um, you know, again, I'll stick to the news viewer versus the MTV viewer because they're so different. And so that news viewer is gonna have a certain age bracket that you could stereotype, um, and that MTV viewer is gonna also have a, a typical demographic age bracket that you could also stereotype. Is there an overflow? Of course. Is there, you know, a mix of audiences? Sure. But for the most part, you can really uh, determine your your audience based off of the viewing time period and also program area. So, for example, on broadcast, the highest viewing time period outside of sports, uh, the, the highest viewing time period for men is typically 11 p.m. to 2 a.m., and, I can vouch for that. <laughs> <laughs> and on on cable, um, it would it would really actually look very different. The highest rated or the prime time viewing on cable actually often is weekend daytime during the weekend because people are at home and watching movies or watching HGTV or the Food Network, for example. Or the Golf Channel. Exactly. So the the targeting is really critical, but it allows us to to budget according to your budget, and also to target the exact audience you want. So my, my impression of it is that if I do broadcast, and correct me if I'm wrong, please, is that you're, you're doing a wide land, piece of land versus uh, a niche zone on a specific network for cable. 
Exactly. Is that, is that correct in, in my assumption there? That's exactly right. That's okay. exactly how it works. So then my question to you is, if you had one piece of advice when someone's, you know, looking for either broadcast or cable and they're looking into, I want to be on TV, like what would that one piece of advice be for someone who's in, interested in that? Sure. So it's all about the media buy itself. So making sure that you place those ads in the proper channels. So is, doesn't this go into like ratings points? It does. It, it's, it goes beyond ratings. Um, and that's kind of what's in our name beyond <laughs> spots and dots. Um, it goes beyond the ratings. It, it really is making sure that you're targeting the right audience at the right time with the right message. So this is where I would suggest the, you know, broadcast or cable media buying is really important with respect to the, the messaging that you're putting out there as well. You certainly don't want to have the same message to a, a news viewer as you would to an MTV viewer. And, and one example I'll give for that is if you're um, an institution of higher education or in the education realm, uh, a, a, a potential student is likely, and I'm stereotyping, stereotyping, but is likely to watch MTV and that their parent is yeah, the more parent, likely really, yeah. to watch news or sports. So you might want to be in both places. Exactly. But both places with different messages. So it is about the placement and it's about the messaging. Great. Well, thanks so much. Appreciate it. And we'll, uh, we'll check you out next time. Thanks so much.